Seconded by the member for Patterson. Uh, the question is that the motion be agreed to, and I call the member for Riverina. Here, here. Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I reckon they would be listening with interest in Gerringong and Nowra and Shell Harbour and Ulladulla and Warilla at the moment to the member for Gilmore's contribution, uh, putting forward this motion about childhood education and care educators. And yes, we want the best for those people who work in that sector. But two words that the member for Gilmore, a regional member, did not mention are accessibility and availability. And that is one of the greatest concerns for parents, families in country areas. It is actually being able to have a early childhood learning centre to have that care provided uh, in a regional setting. And it's simply not good enough just to talk about wage rises for early childhood educators, uh, to uh, mention all of those things without mentioning accessibility and availability. And I know in my Riverina electorate uh, we've got a void created by a childhood centre closing at Lockhart at the moment. And I know even in Wagga Wagga uh, it's difficult to get places for families. And uh, I very much had a great conversation with Nicole Wishart recently. <coughs> She's the director and nominated supervisor at Inspire Early Learning Centre uh, in Kringle Road. And she wrote a lengthy letter to me and she talked about when families are enroll, unenrolled, they suffer additional financial burdens due to increased costs associated with finding alternative care arrangements. This strain not only affects their financial stability but also impacts their, work to, their ability to work and contribute to the economy. Furthermore, the lack of support services exacerbates workforce issues, creating a cycle of inefficiency and economic hardship. Now, I know Labor's out there addressing uh, the, the wages, and I'm sure that uh, the member for Moncrief will have uh, more to say because she understands very much uh, our position, but the position uh, <coughs> adopted by families right across this nation. And what we are seeing, particularly in this area, is a lack of accessibility and availability. And you very, very much don't hear that uh, from those opposite because they don't get and the fact that there is a problem in those areas. And the member for Gilmore, if she were listening to her constituents, I'm sure that's what they're probably saying to her as well. It's accessibility, it's availability. And yes, uh, we, our, our childhood educators uh, should be paid a fair day's work for a fair day's wage. No, no question about that. No question about that, but uh, it's about accessibility and availability in regional areas, which is the great concern. And why should, why should our country families be disadvantaged? Why isn't the government doing more to help our regional families? Because they don't care. They don't care. And in so many policy areas, right across the board, uh, we see that happen every day of every week, the fact that the regional pleas and cries for services and amenities are just ignored. And it's down to centres and placements. It's about Labor's lack of care for regional areas. And it's such a shame because families in regional centres are important too. And indeed, uh, during COVID and at any other given time, it is regional areas which are leading the way through mining, through agriculture, and yes, it's paying your wages as well. And I order, didn't interrupt your order. member when she was talking, and so don't interrupt me. Order. The member for Riverina, address your remarks through the speaker, please. Well, you could tell them too, to be quiet when I'm making well. a contribution, Deputy Speaker, because I did not interrupt the member for Gilmore. I'm merely pointing out, with all due respect through you, Deputy Chair, that there is a grave concern out there, and it is being expressed across the board, and the government is doing very little, if anything, about it. And it's about accessibility and it's about availability. And those two areas are being ignored. And this, this motion brought forward by a regional member, no less than the member for Gilmore, doesn't address that issue. And it should, because it is a great concern. And I'm sure it's a great concern for the members on the South Coast. Because if 
uh, and because it is right across the board. And I would urge and encourage uh, those members to get out there and listen uh, to their mums and dads, particularly in regional areas, because this is of grave concern. I thank the member for Riverina.